think, you know, I don't like to speak and paint the media with a broad brush, but I think sometimes you do see, um, according to studies that have been done, media reviews of media coverage of the Middle East, the Arab world, Islam and Muslims, you see that there's, uh, that the coverage is overall uh, overly negative, that it's oftentimes based on negative stereotypes, and factually, you know, according to one study, coverage of violent plots committed by Muslims receives seven times more coverage than other populations and that these same Muslims get uh, four times longer sentences. So you see just according to the data that the coverage tends to be overwhelmingly negative. It's often very sensationalist and like I said based on stereotypes. Sometimes you see you know politicians, people in power using very disparaging terms to refer to the Muslim world, the Arab world and these disparaging comments get repeated without much um, skepticism you know and as the media sort of gives a megaphone to these comments to these um, oftentimes you know baseless accusations um, there's sort of a question about whether it's uh, you know, there's a duty to sort of step back and report these things uncritically or if media should push back against some of these comments um, that normalize Islamophobia. And, and one thing we talked about at this conference is how Islamophobia is both institutional and systemic. So it goes beyond media coverage into the very lovers of power in society. We see, you know, many people, especially in Western societies, they've never even met Muslims. In the United States, only 38% of people have even met a Muslim. So they rely on the media to shape their narratives of Islam and Muslims. So when that media coverage is overly negative, then that is the impression that people get about the religion, about the group of people, the 1.7 billion adherents of this religion. So it's really important that you know journalists step back and really take a critical lens to the way that Muslims are covered, the way that Islam is covered, and uh, try to do better, frankly. Well, Edward Said wrote about how the coverage of Muslims um, and Arabs um, sort of overly negative, based on stereotypes, crude, um, actually serves to make them more vulnerable to military aggression. So this is something that we've seen throughout the global war on terror since 9-11, that overly negative media coverage of Islam and Muslims in the Muslim world, um, based on negative stereotypes, painted with a broad brush, actually ends up dehumanizing these populations and making them vulnerable to military aggression, as Edward Said told us.